Montecito may be known for mansions, but it is also home to the ruins left by one of the area's worst fires. As Tracy Lair reports, about a quarter of the homes that burned have yet to be rebuilt. Engines 91, 92, 391, 916. Respond to a brush fire reported on Montecito. Five acres or better. 30 mile an hour or better. Winds out of the northwest. The T fire burned hundreds of homes in the fall of 2008. It happened in Montecito almost eight years ago. Today, if you get in a car and drive through Montecito, you'll see the scar and the ruins left behind. The wind was incredible. It was crazy wind. It was coming from all different directions. It was like a windstorm. That's what it was. Westmont College was ground zero for some of the damage. These steps up here, this is all that's left of Bowder Hall, uh, which I remember from my years as a student here. And it was the psychology building, uh, that the, the department that lost all of their research and work and um, faculty offices and all of those things in, when this burned in the tea fire. Both my work, the physics building, burned at Westmont, but so did our house. Professor Ken and Kim Kilstrom also lost two cats in the fire. They were in Israel leading a semester abroad when they got the call. It said, I'm 90% sure we just saw your house burning on television on KYT. When the smoke cleared, more than 200 homes were gone, including Christopher Lloyd's $11 million mansion full of Back to the Future memorabilia. Rebuilding would be, you know, I just, it's too much, you know, you can't rebuild that. What are you going to do? The tea fire got its name from a private tea house used for garden parties a century ago. Trespassing City College students set a bonfire that started it. They thought they had it completely out. The next day, 70 mile an hour winds reignited the flames. No one died in this fire, but one young couple was seriously burned, escaping the rental home. What the tea fire did and did not burn still serves as a reminder of the deep devastation. What I think is that people have, uh, have suffered and they've suffered for any number of reasons. Uh, one is they didn't have adequate insurance uh, and they weren't able to rebuild. Uh, two, um, there's additional costs involved uh, with the city rebuilding because of the codes. At the time of the fire, the real estate market had taken a dive, so insurers didn't pay top dollar. The bottom line is we reviewed, read the, all that fine print that nobody reads in their contract and saw that we were underinsured. So. Uh, we increased it probably just 18 months before the fire. More than 30% of the burned homes in the county and 20% in the city of Santa Barbara have yet to rebuild. If you rebuilt in a timely manner, was you were allowed to be uh, constructing in the same footprint. Now that uh, non-conforming status has gone away and you would be expected to meet the current setbacks. Back on Westmont's campus in Montecito, some buildings were never rebuilt because there were already plans for replacements. For this building that would have been in, the, that was in this field right here, they were already building the new science building, so there was no reason to reconstruct this. Um, and the new science building is so much nicer than the old one, so. Shortly after rebuilding his home, Ken lost his wife to cancer. For us, we got to rebuild a dream house for Kim, and she got to live in it. Um, she passed away in 2013, but she got to live in it, and it, and it was one, it was one of my happy memories. To survivors, the tea fire is a reminder of what's important. With the tea fire, because it started so close to campus and it was on campus within 15 minutes, you know, we could have lost so much more than we did. In Montecito, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. And neighbors say actor Christopher Lloyd rebuilt and then sold his home. Those who still wish to rebuild are encouraged to set up a pre-application meeting to start that process.